any increase in money supply. And that's the other thing. Again, the Fed minutes showed that they were concerned about the fact that average hourly income is not rising. And they they resorted, you saw David Cameron last week, and now the central banks are pleading, pleading with the banks and the corporations that own them. Please give these people a little bit more so that they don't, you know, overthrow our governments and, and, and take Well, look, uh, David, David Cameron's also saying that uh, people in the UK, after six months of benefits, if you don't get it, if you don't accept a zero wage job, you're going to be taken off benefits, which is like saying, okay, you Iroquois and you Sue, get out of the way because we want to build a railway here and get on this reservation where most of you will die. So it's a, it's a, it's a form of economic eugenics that David Cameron is proposing that's quite insidious and awful. But people who read the Daily Telegraph would never be told this because the Daily Telegraph takes huge amounts of conflict of interest uh, ad dollars to make sure that their readers are completely blind to the reality in the UK. Stacey, we've got to go. They deliver the news. It's all about the news. Stay tuned for the second half a whole lot more. Welcome back to the Kaiser Report. I'm Max Kaiser. With me today are in the studio Joel People versus PF 